Hey everybody, how you guys doing today? I love the three quarter faces you guys are tagging me in. I love it, love it, love it. You guys are doing an awesome job. I am so thrilled. Um, when I see you guys do things, you know, and um, that I show and you guys do it and uh, the doodle girls, the, the uh, three quarter face, everything just wonderful. So, um, a few things I want to talk about, something I want to show that I got a request for. So we'll do that first. And it's how to make your own washi tape. It's how I do it. Um, I like to buy washi tape myself, um, but I also like to make it too. So I thought I would do a, um, a quick tutorial, nothing major. I'm just going to use these stamps. They're just clear stamps. You can use any kind of stamps that you have. In this pack, it has, and I'll show you when I do them, it has like long long ones and then it has bigger ones because you more want a pattern if you um i'm just going to show you the general idea and then you can go through your own stamps or um whatever you have to do to get your idea or the kind of washi tape that you want now what i suggest for you to do before you start this is not only get the tape that you're going to use and i'm going to use masking tape two different sizes because I love them. Um, and I'm going to show you what you can do, but also have a piece of wax paper next to you. So once you make these, then you can then, once they're dry, peel them up and put them on your wax paper to store them. And then you can go use them in your art or your art journal or whatever. This I want to show is the uh, present that I got. Um, I got ganache and I got... Um, acrylic, 16 artist colors, a vibrant colors, highly versatile from Reeves. And they come in titanium white, yellow, lemon yellow, medium yellow, orange, flush tint. Oh, I can't wait to try that. Br uh, brilliant red, crimson, violet, blue lake, phthalo blue, light green, Viridian hue, phthalo green, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, burnt umber, Payne's gray, and Mars black. And I opened it and this is what it looks like. I'm thrilled to death. Um, these, if you go to AC Moore or Michaels, they're in the, they're called Reeves and they're in the paint section. Um, aren't that expensive, that, that bad if you buy a, with a coupon. And if you're just starting out, they're wonderful because if you would go buy all the folk art, you know, all the craft paints, I mean, to get all these colors, you would, you know. And here you have your red, orange, yellow, uh, green, blue, where's blue, purple, 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 there's another blue, purple, uh, white, black, flesh tint, all these different yellows, the yellow ochre, you get like fantastic colors. So this is a great kit to have and I'm going to use mine today. I'm also going to use my crusty old, um, which I don't usually use, I usually use my mat, but I'm just going to squeeze some, it won't affect anything, but I wanted to show you because I'm going to open this now. Yep, I am. Will this piece of cardstock open the plastic? Because I have no nails, because I chew them like a mad woman. And you just break the plastic, and it's like Christmas. And you open them up, and this is what I got from Arthritis and Me. Susan, very, very thankful, happy. I've been using a lot of her stuff lately that she sent. So I'm very happy. So this is number one. I'm gonna I open these. Okay, the camera's a little weird, but okay. So I'm gonna set these to the side for now, and then we're gonna set up what we're gonna do. Make sure that you use a archival, um, a, a, like a solvent ink, like uh, stays on or um, your archival ink from Ranger. You know, one that's not. Um, reactivated with water. Now you can, you know, not stamp if you don't want to. Um, and I'll do that also, but if you're going to stamp like I'm going to do on a few, then that's kind of what you want to do. What you do is you want to lay your tape down. Now I'm going to do it in sections and I'm just going to do them this big so we can see them on camera and then I'll tear it and you can do them as big as you want. And what I'm going to do is put them pretty close. 
doesn't have to be on top of each other, but touching's okay. We're allowed touching. Because, you know, washi tape's great, and it's washi tape isn't that expensive. But I can't find sometimes. Um, all right, I'm just going to do three of these. And then I'm going to take my thicker tape, which I ripped crookedly. So I'll just kind of straighten that out a little bit. And we know how good I am at straightening. Sometimes I can't find washi tape that matches colors that I want to use because I don't necessarily want them to I want them to be part of my background more than I want them to be. And this is the thicker tape. I want them to be part of my background more than stick out as some, you know, if you have a washi tape that doesn't, um, okay, that one ripped off itself. I'm very powerful. And if they wrinkle and all, nah, who cares? I'm just showing you guys. <laughs> okay. Now, can you use your, um, clear packing tape? You sure can. Um, you know, this is a playful thing to do. I'm not going to worry about all these little wrinkles and all. You, of course, will be a little bit more, or maybe not. I mean, I'm, I'm not somebody who, you know, who the hell knows what I am. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. I am going to pick a color for this one. And I'm going to do several colors probably. I'm going to do a blue. And I'm just going to put a little dot. And I will bring you in closer, closer, closer. Okay. I think we're closer. Okay. We'll do blue. Ooh, this is a pretty color. There's so many pretty colors in here. Like you can't, I mean, you can't go wrong getting this at um, AC Moore or Michaels. I'm so thrilled with this. And it's been sitting there and I've been wanting to use it. And I'm like, well, I'll wait, I'll wait. And then somebody um, asked me to do washi tape demo. And I thought... I'm going to do it now because I'm going to use this in my next painting I'm going to do. I'm going to use this um, pink kit and then I'm going to have my, my gouache and I'm so excited. And then in the Reeves, like in this thing that I just showed you, the acrylic flush tint. Hello. How awesome. So you kind of, you know, you kind of play around. If you have ideas in your head of what you want, um, you know, your, your things to be, you know, your washi tape to be, you know, you want the bottom to be quite, quite uh lighter let's say than your normal um you know we don't want it to be so so you just want to do a little bit of water you don't want it to be so that you cannot it's hard to explain what i mean you'll see as i go oh, if my brush i didn't want my brush see how pretty that comes up with that green and you just want to kind of bring it because we just want the color down so say i'm doing a painting and I want this in. And remember, we're, we're down. We're already glued down. You want to make sure you push it down so no water can get in. And let's bring some orange in. And this will be like a, you know, a darker color. Remember, I'm just showing you things. And do it on, so you can even do it on wax paper if you want. Because, you know, you're going to make a mess. Let's face it. And if you do it Kelly's way, you always make a mess. I'm going to kind of clean my brush off because my water is over. I got new water, but I had to put it up on the shelf over there because my one kitten thinks, Mommy got me new water. And then she comes and jumps on my desk. And I, I don't know. I hear noise, noises coming from my room. I think I have my door shut. I don't know how she gets in here. She thinks it's play fun time in here. Okay, and we're just doing this, and you can also take... Now, see, I love this look. Let's see how close I can get down to it. Well, obviously, that's not going to work. Can you see on that teal how it's... And even on here, how it's, like, bubbling a little bit? Because I didn't gesso it. Now, you feel free to gesso. I like this distressed look. And it is a distressed look, if we can look over here. As it dries, it is, it, it's getting very distressing. I'm distressed, but it's getting a distressed look to it. And I don't know how good you can tell um, in the video, which I'll be, you know, I understand. Maybe it'll come out better when I upload it, but 
I like distressed look. It makes me happy. Um, let's go with some blue. So that's why I didn't just do it. But please feel free to do your Elmer's white glue on here first on your tape or um, your gesso or, you know, your clear gesso or, you know, collage podge, mod podge, whatever you got. Because that's what I believe doing crafts and art and whatnot is about. It's whatever you got. You use it to your advantage and you rock it. And then I'll just do some orange over here. And this is layer one. Now, fun things you can do before I dry this. You can take a piece of bubble wrap. We all know and love bubble wrap. And you can lay it. I'll lay it on this blue piece here. You can lay it and push it and push it good. And lift it up. How freaking awesome is that? And now, always have a piece of paper laying next, because what can we do? Well, I can't show you, because Kelly doesn't have a piece of paper sitting next to you, but you can stamp it down, and you got some great texture. I really stink at that, but having that extra piece of paper, and I'm always telling you guys, have extra paper, but look how cool. Um, but what I'm going to do, on my, I'm going to leave these go, okay? What am I doing today with my camera? I swear, today is like one of them off days that you just... Okie dokie, Kelly. Okie dokie. I'm using my rag that I just keep putting all these different colors and textures on because I'm going to use it on a background for something. So I shall pick a part. And I'm just going to go in and do my twist. We're going to twist. We're going to twist it. We're going to lighten it and twist it. And yeah. Twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it. Well, I'm really going to get people to... Give me negative comments now because I'm singing. And we all know I think I'm a singer. All right. So you get the idea. You, you do your little diggy thingy miggies on there. Okay. So here we go. So now let's take our hair dryer, which I highly suggest go to the thrift store or use your hair, 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 hair dryer at home. Um, and pick up a cheap hair dryer, you know, at the thrift store for like a couple bucks, you know, because you're using it in your crafts, or if you have a hair dryer at home, and very just, or your heat gun, doesn't matter, and I'm just going to give this a real quick once over. Now, I love the way this bubble one look, looks, and imagine, not just bubble wrap, it can be sequence, sequence waste, it could be uh, circles, you know, like we use caps to make the circles. It could be anything you want. Okay? So I just want to get this a little dry for our next step. Okay. Let me move my tape shut. Now let me just tell you, Walmart, I got this at Walmart in their, wherever they sell their, um, you know, they're like, sell their like, uh, men's stuff <laughs> nails and what is that stuff called i i think of home depot and lowe's as my store not my husband's but um tools and whatnot anyway i got this big roll and i've used quite a bit of this 79 cents how do you beat 79 cents and i use this in my journals i use this in my with the journal um i have a journal video coming tomorrow or art journal one i got a request for actually um I don't know exactly where my book is right now. I showed it the other day. I was talking the other day in a video. It was yesterday. See, this is why I get off track and I my videos end up being so freaking long. I was talking the other day in a video. It might have been yesterday or today. If, if I had to tell you what day today was, you know, I, I don't know. I don't think I could. All right, where the frick is it? Is that, that was one of them. Okay. This video, this picture right here, five people wrote me and said, can we do that in our, in our uh, art journal this week? Okay. Then I guess at some point, and I had not done it yet because, good God. 
then I have this, and then people love that, and they wanted to do that. They asked about this one. So I'm going to ask you guys, and hopefully, I mean, if you watch my video today, you'll vote. Do you want to do this, the butterfly one? Do you want to do this little, little one in our um, art journal this week? Or was there, I think there was one more. It might not have been. It might just be me being weird, which we all know. I wonder if I've only been those two. Wasting time, wasting time. We're just wasting time. Yeah, those. I'll just do a stick with those two. So vote. Do you want the little bunny girl with the tree and her holding her little bunny and we'll do a little something something? Or do you want the butterfly girl? So y'all vote below and let me know what art journal pages you want to do this week because I'm going to be doing it tomorrow, even though I'm a little bit late, but I'm going to do it tomorrow. Um, it's been a crazy week. So anyway, so look for these. It's um, it's Duck makes it. Like he makes like the, um, what they make? They make something. They make uh, duct tape. Um, so you can use this. You can use your um, silver metal tape that you use that I always show that you can use in like when they use fixed ducts and stuff in houses of air conditioning and stuff. You can use thick or thin. Um, you can use whatever you want. So let's continue, shall we? Okay, here we go. So let's start. Now see, I'm really digging this and um, I really like the bubble effect of it. So what I'm going to do, because these are a little thicker, I can use a little thicker stamp. And I just picked these out of my thing. I'm not, I didn't really look to say like, oh, you know, how about I, you know what I mean? Like I really didn't think too much about it. Because if I think about things too much, then we'll be here till next Tuesday. So I think I'm just going to use these stamps. It's all one stamp. They're little flowers. Okay. And I'm going to set them right there for now. And I'm going to take my dark green stays on. Oh, well, I probably just took the, take the plastic thing off first. <laughs> I'm like, why isn't it stamping? And I just kind of do this very lightly. Remember, anything you have works. Now, you could put this on, and I probably would have done better if I would have put this on my acrylic block, but it's over there, and I really feel lazy today. But I'm just going to stamp. I'm just going to set it down. Give it a push. But it, it will come out better if you use your acrylic stamp because you're doing one push and everything's getting pushed. And look how cool. Now, if you know, if you want to stop there, you can. Or you can do these all the way down. And you have... Now, I have other colors. Let's do that. I have a light green, which is called cactus green. Make sure to take the plastic off. And I don't know if you can see me on camera. I'm just putting the ink on just like I did the other ink. And I'm tapping and tapping and moving and grooving and tapping and tapping and happy you can't see my fat Bella wiggling while I'm tapping. Okay. Lifting up. Placing down. And you can just continue going on. And pushing and pushing and push it real good. And you see, you get the lighter one. And, it, and obviously, you know, if you continue using this down here, you'd want a darker one because it's a darker thing. But you can see, you can use any color that you want. I have red, red might. Uh, maybe red. Let's do black. Eh. And I'm just going to keep using these flower ones real quick just to go on that dark one. But again, use you can use 20 different stamps and then just cut, you know, when you want the pieces. You can also layer different colors of paint. You don't have to do just as I'm doing. You can do one color paint and then another and do techniques. It doesn't matter. And you see how that works out? And then just do it again. And there you go. And you have your first piece. And this is a thick piece of washi tape, of course. Um, but 
Like I said, when I'm doing art and stuff, sometimes I can't find what I'm looking for. It feels like I want to break out in a U2 song, and I really don't like U2. Okay. So as I pretend that I'm very neat and I put my stamps back, which I really don't, let's do these bad boys up here. So I'm going to take these two long ones, and I'm sure, you know, like I said, you can use anything. Eh, okay. So I have this long one. And I like the way this come out distressed. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, let me lift it up. I really pushed it down there good so it was stuck on there good. And I have no nails, so. So that was the tape, not me. Really, I swear. Look at the distress. Look at the distressed. It's so distressed. Look how cool. Coolness. Okay, I'm going to stick him back down. But make sure, like I said, when you do stick your tape down originally, and I'm just going to keep these down where it was, that you make sure that you push down so nothing gets underneath. And um, all I'm going to do here is I'm not going to be fancy schmanced. I'll do a red one on the lighter blue one so you guys can see it, and then do black on the others. But you guys can use anything. Anything that, like I said, you want to take your sequence waste and make your dots. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I, maybe I'll look and see if I can find something. Just let me get this on there. Turn it over. Lay it down. That one's going to be smeared because I laid, pushed, and then moved. And you all know when you lay, push, and move, Sometimes it doesn't work out well, but you get the point. You're making your own, okay? That's the point. Am I perfect? No. Do I want you to be perfect? No. If you're perfect, I don't want you. Yes, I said it. All right, let me just do a black one here real quick. Just a real quick, fast one. And then we'll, so, my hands don't want to work. They're being a jerk. And like I said, if you use your acrylic block for these things, it's so much easier. But that one come out a little better. But you're digging what I'm, say I'm saying, right? I'm not going to ink on there, but I'm just going to push it on there. So that's that. Now for this one, for instance, I will use, let's say, like a flower. And I like the blue and all. I don't have any dark blue ink here, so I'm just going to use black so you get the gist. Just going to stamp my flower in there and stamp. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't. You can line these all up and stamp together and just get like really cool like semi pieces of your, do you know what I mean? So when you pull them up, you get them. And very, I mean, you know, so and then just do one down here. It doesn't matter. Let me see if I can find my... Which there's no guarantee. Just give me one, one second. Sorry. Now, what you also can do is use your acrylic paint itself and use it as a, um, as if you're doing, uh, what are we doing? As if you're using um, your um, stenciling. Oh, Kelly. As if you're stenciling. So let's say uh, I'll need a dark color on there. So let's use a violet. Violet, violet. I'm just going to do a little poop right there. A little plop. Don't know if you can see it. I'll show you in a minute. So you can be in the game with me. There's my ploop. Ploop. All right. Just so you, I want you to concentrate right here, right here. Okay. I'm going to take a paintbrush. You can use your stencil brush. You can use a cosmetic sponge. I love going to the dollar store and buying them things. I use those things like crazy. And I'm just going to just give you, I'm patting my brush in, my brush. And I'm just going to go over my stencil. And I'm just going to hit everywhere. It doesn't matter what tape it is. I'm going to go get a little bit more. I love this paint. 
this will show you a little bit. And that's why it's good to work on wax paper or, you know, like my thing here. I can just wipe it up when I'm done. It's no worry. No harm done here. And you can even water down your paint a little bit. Like I have like a little bit left on here. Just a, I'll give it like a little teeny squirt and then mix my paint in. I know you can't see it. Just to pick up the rest. It'll be a little lighter, but I don't care. Voila. Okay. So, make my lid, make sure my lid's on because I'm good for leaving the lids off. So, here we go. I'm putting my Reeves. Love these, love these, love these. Reeves acrylic. You can look these up on line. You can get these at AC Moore and Michaels. Use your coupons. Go online on Joann's. These are fantastic. I am so in love. I actually gave a set of these away to somebody a long time ago who needed acrylic paints. I had bought and gave them to them. I don't, I, I think it was Vanessa. I don't know if she's used them yet or not. Um, but they have, they come in watercolor. They come in acrylic. They come in gouache. So let me straighten you up. And then I'm just going to, I've got something I want to tell you. And then we shall go now. Like I said, take your wax paper, and if I was prepared, I would have Z wax paper, but I, I'm not. So what I'm going to do is pretend like this is this is what my stamps came in. So I'm going to pretend like this is stamp paper. This is wax paper on the back, but it's really not. It's just plastic. So if you can't don't have wax paper, use your plastic. And I'm going to peel these up because they can't stay on here. And then to store them. Now, you can hit them with the heat gun if you want to make sure the paint and the ink and all is dry. I'm not going to go through all that right now because I want to talk about something else. But And I'm not even going to curse when I talk about it. <laughs> lucky, lucky you. And I'm peeling. And it's cleaning off my mat as I'm peeling. Who knew? How exciting. Oh, come on now. These are so much fun to, to make, like to line your whole like thing or wax paper or whatever. And then um, I'm just going to kind of lay that on there so it sticks on there. And then make a bunch. And like I said, and then you could put it like, you know, in your storage or wherever. And then you have these great things. Now look at this. How awesome. Oh, I love that sound. It's like, I don't know. Look how cool. And again, you can make it whatever you want it to be whatever style, whatever colors. Like I'm, a, I'm more of like these colors, like the rust and the browns and the, you know, those kind of things, darker colors, because I'm a dark kind of girl. Look how cool. I'm gonna be using these. I mean, look how cool. And they're, they still look like they're um, distressed. You know what I'm saying? And they got like really cool things on them. And you make them yourself. So you have pride, you know, you don't have to go out and spend $2.99, $3.99 on washi tape that when you get home and you're like, well, it doesn't match what I'm making. Now you sit and make a bunch or make it just for your painting that you do. And I mean, how much better could life be? I love making my own craft supplies. I said it. Okay, so let me hold these up for you. So what do you think? That's the one with the bubble wrap right here. These are all the different colors and the different stamps. I really like this one with the distressed look and the black. I love the teal going into the, the brown. And then you have the one with the flowers. So it's a lot of fun. So, my goodness. So if you have, if you have um, any kind, like I said, it does. You you can put them all together and just keep stamp and stamp and stamp and and they don't have to have any rhyme or reason to them. It just gives them some sort of like I did the flowers on this one, you know, where you're not really sure exactly what it is, but you're getting pattern. It's a mixed media thing. 
it's it's just awesome. So if you guys have any more questions, let me know. You can do these with uh, your watercolors, your watercolor pencils, you know, whatever. The pencil, the I've had to fill this bottle for two weeks. I'm not lying. Like I I, I would sp I could sit here and spit to get this cleaner than this water bottle is going to do this for me right now. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys that Taylor uh, had asked and, um, I, I have gotten many requests for it and, um, I just kept putting it off, putting it off. Not for any reason. I just don't, I don't know. Like I would want to do it and forget about it. So here's my other thing I want to talk about. So I'm just going to, going to like zoom you in a little bit. So you can kind of see how cool they look. And I'm going to talk to you for a minute about something. Um, a while back, I made, November, December, I made 30 sheets of mixed media paper. And what that is, I believe, and let me know at the bottom if I didn't do this, but I believe I put the video links in the subject before and told you guys about them. Um, I only have two videos for the pages for November and December. I don't have a video for October's pages. They are 10 mixed media pages that I made, papers, as if you, scrapbook paper. So I made them all by hand. They're 8 by 11. And um, I had sold them for $3. You get 10 pages. And since I can't always like I can have giveaways and not everybody can win. And, and some people live in, you know, other countries and it's hard to, you know, always get to give them things or whatever shipping costs a fortune and everything. What I've decided to do, if you're interested and let me know, um, if you would like some mixed media sheets, some mixed media papers, I will put in the uh, description down on here, the two videos I have on my pay, on my YouTube for you to look at and watch. Um, and then I have October. And each of them have like color themes. And like I said, I made these all myself. I sat here and did 10 pages for October, 10 for November, 10 for December. And I love them. And what the great thing is, is um, they're going to be free to you. I'm not going to charge you for them. But um, you'll get them in your email through a PDF and um, you print them out on your printer. My suggestion to you is use cardstock to print them out on. If you don't have cardstock, it's not the end of the world. Print them on regular printer paper. It doesn't matter. Um, but it'll give you, you know, like third, like it'll, it'll be like as if you went to the a store and pick 30 new sheets of, of really cool mixed media paper. And I love them because I made them, I hand made them. Like I hand painted them, I hand made them. I did some where you can journal, I did them. And you can use these once you get them, um, you save them, you know, your PDFs, you can use them over and over and over and over again. You know, you can use them for dresses on, you know, dolls that you make. Um, you know, on your paintings. I mean, there's a million and six things you can do with them. So, um, I'll put the two videos below and then, um, I don't know if, how I could show you the October ones or not, but let me know if, if it's something that you're interested in. Um, you might not even be interested in them, but I just wanted to offer it to you guys because, um, like I said, I used to sell them um, 10 for $3. Like each month you would get 10 sheets for $3 um, through PDF. And um, I just thought since I can't, um, I really don't want to charge anybody for them. And, um, you know, I know so many of you can't get out. And especially now with the weather the way it is. And, and believe me, my whole left side is completely numb, swollen, bruised. I can barely walk. And, um, you know, I just thought like, I can't always, I, I like, I want to give all of you guys like gifts. Like I want to send you guys stuff. So I thought maybe I could do this as like a little Christmas treat for me to you. And then you can have some papers at home that you can play with. And like I said, uh, do with whatever you want. If you're interested, if not, I don't take offense. If you think they're horrible, I don't take offense. I don't take offense to much. Everybody has their own opinion. And uh, so, yeah, so I'll put them down in the description, the links for you to watch them, the papers, and um, let me know what you think. 
and then, you know, private message me on YouTube, send me an email or whatever. And, uh, you know, I'll send you the PDF or whatever. And, uh, you guys can get some extra papers to sit and play with. So I think like the December ones are like more like silvers and blues and like more of a kind of color that way and stuff like that. So just check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, I love making them. I love giving. So I thought this would be a good way that I could give to people and, um, just like scanning papers in and stuff like that. It's, you know, it's not, you know, it's not giving you paint or, or energy or anything like that, but it's giving you my energy and my handmade things so that you can use them. So, um, but I won't take offense if nobody wants any, it's not a big deal. I just wanted to, uh, offer. So another thing I wanted to tell you real quick while I'm sitting here, you can always take white paint with a very thin brush or your jelly pens or white watercolor pencils or whatever you use. And you can always go in and also, you know, decorate these two after they're all the way dry. So you can even add them a little bit more pizzazzy. See what I'm saying to you? Look at the pizzazz it adds. Pizzazz. You know, so you could do so many things to make your own washi tape. It's ridiculous and so much fun. And it's fun to do these and then stick them on your wax paper, put them away, and then when you're sitting in bed because you're having a bad day or on the couch, you pull out your wax paper with all this and sit and doodle and do your fun things. So that's something else to think about. So let me know about your um, the papers. Like I said, check out the videos in the script below. Description below. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know about battle somebody else is fighting. I'm so blessed to have you guys in my life. I am thrilled beyond belief um, that I'm lucky enough to have you guys. And um, I'm just very blessed. So I hope you all have a great weekend. And um, I'm going to have my art, the new art journal page up. Let me know below which art journal page you want because I'm going to be doing it tomorrow. So if you watch this after I upload it, let me know. Do you want the little bunny girl with the tree and the, the her holding the teddy bear, or do you just want the butterfly girl? Let me know, and I shall see you again tomorrow. Lucky, lucky you. Bye, guys.